Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another day at CJ Boats. I'm pulling into work. I think we're going to make some sales today. Well, I think, uh, hopefully we will. I don't know who is flying in that RV, but it looks like Garrett. All right, we're pulling in here and I haven't, I wasn't at work yesterday. I was feeling a little sick, but I'm good now and we're good to go. I just had a little cold. But what is that? Is that Bolt? Some mowers. He's going pretty quick through here. And then Ian is here this morning. Okay, something weird is going on. Garrett's RV. We're doing something up there. Good morning, Ian. How's it going? Pretty good. It, it, there's something weird going on here. I saw it looks to be Garrett's RV. He was, I was pulling in. I saw him pulling to Bolt's place. Oh, there he is right now. And then Bolt has like two new mowers. And then what's this, Ian? Uh, Who, whose mowers, mowers are these? Yeah, in here. Uh, CJ leased them. Some company came in, a landscaping company. They're pretty local. And, he leased uh, three of them or are they demos? Yeah, they're all demos. Oh, they okay, just, demos. Uh, they gotcha. gave us brands so we could try them out if we want to oh, purchase goodness. them. Okay, so yeah, you want, do you know yeah, how long we good. have them? A month. A month. a month. Okay, cool. Yeah. They're all commercial John Deere, Hustler, Super Z, and then a Toro. They're all 72 inches. Holy cow, those are big. Yeah. So the grass oh. is getting long, and CJ was like, maybe we can partner up with a landscaping business, you know, because uh -huh. we got to get the grass cut. He's looking at it. It's like pretty long. Yeah, no, it's super long. Good morning, Garrett. Good morning, Spencer. What are Hello, you? Do, can we do anything for you? I'm trying to do some mowing with you. Oh. Wait, what? Right. Wait, uh, do you work here? Uh, you CJ doing? hired me. Did oh, he, he did. Not no, did he, he, didn't, tell you he didn't tell us. I haven't talked to him in two days. He's been at the oh, bar for like oh. two and a half days. He's been gone. Oh, oh, okay. That That's another topic. Um, But yeah, no, he hired me a few days ago because you guys know I crashed kind of two of the boats. Oh, we were and, there. Yeah. Oh, oh, I know. I know. You got to um, make up for it. Yeah, I, I got to make up for it. So he decided to hire me and I'm just not allowed to drive any of the boats. That's the, that's the only rule we have. <laughs> okay. Well. Welcome to the team. Uh, it looks like Bolt's pulling in back there Ooh. in his in his Ford Tremor. Good morning, Bolt. Good morning. My new truck. It yeah. looks very nice. I don't know what CJ's paying you, but he doesn't pay us that much. Can't even afford Coca Cola. Yeah, He's charging us for that. I'm the only one can out here, so that's a good point. That's a good point. You're rare. Sure. Well, it lo it looks like I Ian just told me, but CJ got a bunch of demos here. You can see he's trying yep. he's trying to pick which one to buy. Looks yeah, like. CJ told me to bring mine over. I have two John Deere's. Did you pay? Are those yours, yours, or are they? They're mine. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, dang, you ain't getting paid that much. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh... Well, we should probably get mowing. Yeah, like you said, Ian, it's it's pretty overgrown. We haven't mowed all spring, so good yeah. thing he got these mowers. Before he came in, I just took and did a pass and a little loop with the mower here. Gotcha. Very sporadic, Online. but we'll we'll stripe yeah. this up. We'll stripe it up. It'll look good. Yeah. It's a zero turn, you know, you gotta test it out. That's a good point. That's a good point. So let's I want the I'll take the John Deere. Dibs on the John Deere. All right. I'll take well, whatever, hustler. Okay. I get the door. Okay, cool. <laughs> All let's right. let's run around now. Our property line. Hopefully, Garrett, uh, it extends our property line. You'll see it. There's like a tree line next to that white house there. Then on the east side it goes out a bit. So hopefully you guys just figure it out. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. All right, let's get them all, boys. Thanks. All right, this is this is pretty nice. Let's see how the deck works. Oh, that's cool. Goes up and down. I just got to get used to it. I I've driven zero turns in the past, but not very often. And then this has the airless tires. Here, I should probably pull up my uh, my safety bar here. Safety first, always. It right, looks like he's knocking out this main strip. Very clean. It looks nice. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the hang of it again here. Should I help him? Here, I'm gonna go in and make a cut here. I just want to see how it cuts. There you go. Go right around. What's nice about it is you can go right around these poles. Super clean cut. There we go. That's nice. The place looks so much better when it's mowed. We're gonna have to, hopefully, I like the way the John Deere looks. It looks like this one has airless tires too, so we would never have to change a tire or it would never really get punctured out. So I think they're gonna go over there. I'm gonna take this side over here, unless we're all three gonna go together. All right, looks like they want the grass over there. I'm gonna go ahead and come by the dock down here. Okay, I might need a weed eater when I get really close to the water. There we go. We can get right up next to the dock. If you guys enjoy us, okay, get out of the water. I don't want to, uh, do not want to. These things can get stuck really easily. 
they look like they have big beefy tires but like they're more for stability than like actual traction the u-returns can get stuck in the mud very very quick and they're hydrostatic so there's no it kind of loses some power there but we have the kawasaki engine in the back it's a diesel i think it's 32 and a half horsepower i'm not sure there we go got around the pole and then i'm gonna get our little barbecue area every friday as a company we try and do a barbecue whether it's brats burgers steaks whatever which is kind of cool uh but i missed the last one there we go but we have a super nice spot down here on the water this is all overgrown all right looks like our property line is right here if i remember correctly i'm sure these people won't mind me mowing their grass too i mean it's not that big a deal so some other things we have to do i want to rearrange our main dealership or our main gallery where we have new customers come in and they see what we have i i want to i want to change that up here we go i'm just trying to make a line where our property line where i, th I think it's right about here that we own and then our neighbor right there with the house is where i'm going right up next to but i want to change our main dealership area our office area where we keep those boats i like to keep it fresh i guess really we don't we don't have customers come in like all the time and really notice the change but at least for the employees in us it's, it's nice to have a change bring different boats in move at least just move them around and try and make it look a bit better in my opinion it would be really cool there we go we'll go up and around here but that's another job that we have and then bolt said something about he wants us to come mow his lawn which this is kind of fun i mean i'm a salesman but this is kind of fun mowing with these really i've never i've driven a zero turn but not a big 72 inch commercial mower like this i mean this is nice there we go and then the back of the shop too we have some boat trailers sold that i need to get those out of the way so it's just easier to move around in the back shop because we've sold we sold 12 boats since we've been open which isn't the number that we like to hit but it's been a slow been kind of a slow boating season the weather isn't perfect and that's kind of like halted us a little bit obviously great weather all the time people are really going to get out boating especially for maintenance and other things like that but I, i'm sure it'll pick up here so i'm knocking out this section you can see garrett up there taking the top spot and then i think ian went on the way east side and then i think yeah I, bolt is taking care of the maintenance shop which is actually a lot of grass so we're for sure gonna need one of these we honestly might need two in my opinion we might need to i'll talk to cj about that i didn't even know he was doing this and i was wondering about the grass like it was getting to look pretty bad like we need to take care of it i was going to bring my own mower from my house over but it it, it would have taken forever it would just be nice to have two commercial zero turns but i'm gonna knock this out quick here guys and i'll see you in the second Alright guys, just got done with my moan. We'll shut off the blade there. I forgot to show you. The blades actually work too. And there we go. So if you guys already don't know, which I don't know how you want it. If you've seen this mod before, this mod is made by the rental man Buck. I'll try and link him in the description below. And then also this mod. But the mowing pack that he made, that Buck made, go subscribe to him too. Like he's a really cool guy. And he makes really, really nice mods. Like it's the Ford that you see in, in the mowers right here. That's who made them. So awesome job, Buck. They... I think they're great and there's so many little cool things about them and stuff it's really really well made so i think next thing we have coming up is i think we got to help out buck at his like actual house so he said he brought his trailer here and that we're gonna load him up i don't know what kind of trailer that is he said he bought it off craigslist here i better turn her turn her off i think those guys are still finishing up and then once we get back we're gonna rearrange the shop i i just want to move a few things it's kind of bare back here we sold yeah we sold two jet skis that were actually in here these are all the boats that we sold all these empty trailers so we have been busy and it's been really fun but i think we can be doing a bit better you look good on that thing ian looks real yeah, good yeah it, it, it runs good i just uh garrett's gonna finish up the rest of the area i was mowing and uh yeah it should work out good okay i finished that side i think it turned out good i found the property line there was a little electrical box so i just went that way towards uh tur towards bolts mechanic shop but yeah it, it's super clean now it looks so much better don't you think yeah it's it looks a lot better it looks 10 times as good as it did before yeah so 
one thing that I want to do that I didn't mention to you is we really should rearrange. Uh, we should rearrange the showroom first off, and then also the back room. We have all those empty trailers, um, and like we sold a lot of boats too, so those trailers, you know, yeah, can kind of get moved empty. around. So, yeah, we should probably get order some new boats too, if because uh, we're only midway through the summer, we got to sell more. Yeah, and I just want to spruce this up. I just feel like. I don't really like where this is and like we need to air up the tires and that a little bit like stuff like that we just yeah kind of sure. need to clean it up you know dust the cobwebs away in the corners and the seal and stuff like that yeah uh we have the skids here if we want to if you want to start moving stuff around okay yeah let, uh, let's do that and then you said garrett's fishing up i know bolt wanted us to go to his place that's really big and test these out like i really like doing it and uh yeah, it was fun. Yeah. The, more, the mowers were great. They're like brand new, you know. I never ran something like that. So, yeah, we should really get some hours on them. But, yes, I agree. Let's run the skid loader. If we need a wheel loader, we'll bring it around. What are you thinking concept-wise in here? Uh, well, we could, like, line them up, like, by model or something. Okay. Categorize it and make it look a little cleaner. Yeah, I think just kind of fill it more. Just more yeah, in get here. more inventory, just yeah. Kind of bare. We're going to have to order more stuff. Okay. And uh, we can pull stuff off out of the water if you want. We still have some boats in the water. We can pull them out. Yeah, for sure. That I can get the wheel loader, start pulling stuff out. Yeah, we can do that. Let's just, yeah, main thing, showroom. Let's get some things in the back. You know, just organize it. Jet skis in the front, probably, that you can see the big boats in the back, probably. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go pull some boats out of the water, and you can rearrange them as I bring them up. All right. Sounds good. All right, see ya. See, all right, I'm putting away the mowers. We're going to tuck them back here. I want to I want to get this thing clean, cleaned up. Like, mowing both places, like, yeah, we can do that. It's kind of important, but we need to get the shop clean. That's the main goal of today and the main goal of the video. And so he is rearranging those trailers real quick with the skids here just because it's so easy to run it. And then I'm going to be pulling up the boat. So the skid steer, it's, it kind of struggles when we are actually pulling. It does a... It actually does a fine job walking down the boats, but the bigger boats, when we actually pull them up and out of the water, it like doesn't have the power and it doesn't almost have the weight, if that makes sense, coming up this steep climb here. So we want to redo this ramp here probably next summer, make it not so steep. It's kind of kind of rough and possibly make another ramp just over there. So, all right, I'm going to bring in a, one of our bass boats that's sitting out there that we like to have a few boats of each model on the water so that the you know customers can be running things and or like we can have a boat in the water like hey you want to test drive it and not have to go through the five to ten minute process of getting it into the water getting it ready for the customer we just have the boats out there obviously storm comes we, we usually pull them and stuff and we don't like to keep them in the water for too long because it dirties them up algae stuff like that so i'm gonna get this boat loaded up there we go all right she's loaded up i got her strapped in the front it's right on there it's hooked perfect looks good and then i'll pull it out so i'm gonna actually we'll power wash this real quick and then i'm gonna put it in the showroom and i actually kind of need to rearrange the showroom so we're that skid steer is giving us a little bit of problem so we're running ian's range rover which is actually really nice and the hitch that he has on there is adjustable and it switches through like a lot of balls so that's super nice so i'll have bolt power wash that boat and then i just want to pull these out real quick i don't this blue boat's an older model. I, I kind of want to take this out here too. Probably going to put this in the back room. And then Garrett is still mowing. We 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 don't know where he's at. Hopefully everything's okay. I should probably go look for him. But he's still mowing. I don't know. I don't think we had that much grass. And these mowers mow so fast. I don't know what's taking so long. But he is still in there mowing. So yeah, we, we tried calling him. He didn't answer. But we'll figure it out. Anyway, I need to get to work here enough jibber jabbering. I'm going to move around a few things. I'll show you guys our progress later on. All right, guys, for the most part, we got the main things that we want to, and I, I kind of want to show you guys what we're thinking. So we have two of our big, our big best sellers up front here, and then fishing boat on the side. Garrett's done mowing finally. Oh my, it took him so long. We have two dinghies back there, and then another boat back here. So I was thinking nice walkway here, nice walkway into the back room. And then it's still like a bunch of room next on the desk. I don't want a boat right like next to the desk. It's just not very comfortable when I'm dealing with a customer and like a boat's right next to us. Then I'm thinking two or three different jet skis right here. Maybe, maybe one jet ski in between here. It would kind of take away some walk room, but I think you would squeeze around it. And that's kind of what we're looking at. But we have all of our jet skis on rental. We sold through our supply of jet skis. I wish we didn't have so many rentals. Uh, but we need to order more jet skis like right now. I'm not sure what Bolt's doing. 
But that's kind of where we're at in the showroom. We're going to organize the rest of the trailers, move all those around. We've been having a tough time selling those trailers. A lot of times when we sell the boat. So that's kind of the plan. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. It was a bit shorter. We're going to head over to Bolt and probably mow his place. But Garrett is our new hire as well. So I didn't even really get to hang out with him. He literally spent four hours mowing today, which took so long. He did. I didn't. And then... And then Ian still moved around some trailers. So we got to move around a bit more trailers and stuff like that. But it's cleaning up. It, it really is. We, there's what we have on the dock. Those police boats are stored here as well. So let me know what you guys want to see in the next CJ Boats episode. I think the dealership looks much, much better. There we go. I think Ian's running the skid steer now. That helps out so much. Moves around boats all the time. And yeah, I think we cleaned it up quite a bit. I need to dock this boat real quick, but hope, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Let me know if you enjoyed it by hitting the like button. That's the best way to tell me. And I will see you all in the next episode. Here, let's get this tied up real quick. Go dock line, and then where's the other one? There we go. So peace out, guys. Oh, also let me know what mower you guys want us to buy. The John Deere Toro or the Hustler. I think John Deere. I love those airless tires. Hopefully, uh, it seems like they could like squish over time and like break down, but at least you want a flat tire, so... Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.